Did someone lose their octopus plushie at the bottom of the sea? And are those floppy ears on its little head? Meet the Dumbo octopus. Residents of deep sea floors everywhere, these little guys might win the cuteness pageant for cephalopods. Oh, they're just so cute. Who is the cutest octopus ever? What do they use their ears for? How do they catch their prey? And in which aquarium can you see one? Turning your heart into mush, here comes the Dumbo octopus. Living as deep as 7,000 meters below sea level, the Dumbo octopus, or Orgrimpatuthis, is the deepest living octopus in the world. They also fan around at depths of 400 to 4,800 meters near California, Australia, New Zealand, and a few other areas. There are 13 varieties of the Dumbo octopus, and they all belong to the umbrella family of octopuses. I know what you're thinking, not octopi, it is octopuses. Although I thought that too for a second. Everything you ever told me was a lie. That means a webbing connects all their arms and helps them swim. Some Dumbo octopuses are just 20 to 30 centimeters, and occasionally they grow as big as 1.8 meters in length. But the most striking feature is their adorable floppy ears. I hate to burst your bubble, but those ears are really fins they use for swimming. They're still cute, though. Unlike other octopuses, Dumbo octopuses don't swim using jet propulsion. They use their umbrella-like web tentacles and fins that look like ears to steer in a chosen direction. They can also crawl on the ocean floor. Like the plushies they resemble, Dumbo octopuses come in a variety of colors. They can be red, brown, pink, or white. Sometimes their ear-like fins are a different color than their bodies. When they feel threatened, Dumbo octopuses can flush their colors and blend in with the ocean floor, just like their shallower dwelling cousins. Not so dumb after all, eh? Nothing will stand in our way! Their large, manga-like eyes take up one-third of their head-like mantle. But guess what? They don't see well. In some species, their eyes don't have a lens, and their retinas are not well developed, so these Dumbos can only detect light, dark, and movement. That's probably enough to navigate the dark, spare, and harsh environment they live in. Dumbo octopuses eat whatever they can find on the ocean floor. Snails, worms, and animals living along thermal vents are some of the unexciting options on the octopus's menu. Snails? Yes, Coco. These deep-sea dwellers flop onto their prey and swallow it whole. <sighs> Protrusions called cirri, near the suckers on their tentacles, make small water currents to move their food towards their beaks. Although food is scarce, no big predators will come after a little Dumbo unless it wanders into shallower waters where killer whales, sharks, and tuna might make these little cephalopods into a quick snack. Hello. But that must be extremely rare. Unlike other octopuses, Dumbos have not developed elaborate defenses like having spines near their suckers or carrying ink to shoot at attackers. They do have some unusual adaptations, though. These octopuses are so rare, they can't afford to mate at only one time of year. To be ready at all times, the females carry eggs at different stages of reproduction. They also store sperm packets for a very long time. This allows them to fertilize whichever eggs are ready by laying them on the sea floor and anchoring them safely to hard surfaces. And in case you were wondering, Newly hatched babies already have their big Dumbo ears. We still have a lot to learn about these deep sea octopuses, but their location poses a real challenge for us. Unless you get to pilot a deep sea challenger mission, you're likely never gonna come face to face with a Dumbo octopus. Sorry. But you'll always have this heart melting image of Dumbo. Aww, so cute. If you can't get enough of spellbinding octopuses, we've got more on another episode. Swimming with their adorable floppy ear-like fins and surviving the deep seas is what Dumbo octopuses do. And that's why they're crazy creatures. <laughs>